we've been advised by our town ac accountant that we may have to, to do that. But so that's going to be a big job looking ahead, you know, do we have to and what is it going to be? N no one likes that idea, but we have to run it and we have to have the good water and how are we going to do that? Um, so we've got work cut out for us. It sure sounds that. like. Um, at this point, what does that uh, engineering report say, and how old is the report? Well, we, well the report was when we uh, built the uh, uh, plant about 10 or 12 years ago, and they should be fairly current. And uh, uh, we need with this week we're going to study that, and I'm, I'm not sure just what it says and, and, and wh whether some of it is still intact. I need to, to look into that. That was before they ran the line to the Potomac River then? Or? No, that was done at the same time when they built, okay. the, built the plant. When, uh, and Mayor Brawley was here, and, and also uh, Mayor Nash had a lot to do with, the, uh, with, with, with that. And um, we had a person in the office that uh, overlooked that whole uh, construction. It was a pretty big engineering feat and construction feat. As a matter of fact, that time we looked into the possibility of, of uh, burying our electric lines. But it was so expensive. We thought that, we, you know, we had it all the, mm -hmm. the bulldozers and the, uh, the, the diggers there. Why not? But it was just too expensive, believe it or not. And you had to have so many feet between the electric line and the fire. So it was sad, but we couldn't do it at that time. Because uh, I think Harbus Ferry would look great if we could bury all our electric lines. Yeah, but still, every once in a while, that question comes up the, yeah, to bury the lines. Right. And so the people that are now building their homes in Harpers Ferry are having lines on the ground to their houses, and that helps a little bit. Definitely. Um, it, how do you balance the historic significance of Harpers Ferry and the need for economic growth? Well, um, we feel that Harpers Ferry, as you uh, kind of hinted, is a, is a living community. I mean, families live there. There are children growing up there. Uh, they need recreation. One of the things that uh, we need to do in Harpers Ferry is provide a, a, a little more uh, a playground area and exercise area, even for the older folks. I mean, with, uh, with basketball and uh, um, place to play uh, baseball and uh, uh, croquet and some of the less uh, uh, strenuous games. Um, and the Neighborhood Watch, which uh, Frida uh, Kidwell was a great uh, champion of, uh, has try is trying to solve that problem. And I think, you know, we're going to be carrying that ball forward. There are several sites that uh, could be used. And I think the organization that I spoke about before, the Odd Fellows, which is Virginia Lodge Number 1, is a charitable organi organization. And right now we're championing the... Uh, uh, the cause of the fire department because they need money and we had a one a successful friendship. spaghetti friend and spaghetti dinner and we worked together with them on that we're going to be doing a uh, chicken and turkey it one was wonderful timing on that by the way because you had all those tens of thousands of people in town mm -hmm. for the arts and crafts festival and mm -hmm. then you guys had the spaghetti dinner the same You're day right <laughs> well it, that was we, we knew that <laughs> we have some good uh, planners uh, on the fire department that they could see ahead in that and we, we, we worked on Wise it. But, but you see, organizations have to work together to, to help sell tickets and get the word around. And the uh, 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 Friendship Fire Company is a very professional group. They have a lot of training to do and they have to run on the fires and the ambulance. And another organization can maybe help them with uh, their financial uh, problems, which every fire company in the state is running into. You know, how are we going to keep up the professionalism and the, the equipment? with the funds that we, the meager funds that are available. We have such a wide area to cover, mm -hmm. too. It's not just mm -hmm. the town of Harpers Ferry. Right. And your original question was, how do we balance yeah. um, th that? Um, well, first, it's a living community. We do have to uh, uh, listen to the people live there, what their needs are. And I think it's, it's one of the world's most historic towns. Um, but I think that uh, uh, we... And the visitor that comes there is delighted to find that this is still a living town. It's not like Williamsburg, where they cl everything's closed at 5 o'clock and it's, it's, it's just ghostly. They say, oh, you really live here? I mean, you, you know, <laughs> your, your children like you it here. You see lights in the windows at night. And you see lights <laughs> in the windows at night. And um, th when they do walk up into the residential area, they find another aspect of Harpers Ferry. And I think that um, uh, the park is doing a fine job. Uh, I, think, I think they have enough territory and can do their job just fine the way it is. The town is very vibrant and alive and it's doing its share. And the two together make uh, a really dynamic community. 
and village. And I think the balance has, has been met but needs to be worked on. Mm -hmm. It needs to be kept that way. Um, a lot of um, uh, national parks are kind of closed at 5 o'clock and kind of, you know, the, the, the OK Corral idea, you know, everybody's <laughs> gone. It's just the street there. But it's delightful to walk down in Harpers Ferry in the evening. And uh, we're concerned about uh, the lighting situation again, being able to see stars in the sky and not be a, like the um, average uh, shopping mall where you can't see the sky and everything's kind of blotted out by the bright light. We need to have lighting that's both safe and um, unobtrusive. Uh, unobtrusive. <laughs> and that's hard to build. But that, again, it has to be uh, coordinated between the, the owner. Maybe they can p keep their porch light on or, mm -hmm. or, or lights on. And then there needs to be a few more lights on poles that don't have them right now. I and mean, we need more lighting. But we need uh, lighting that's going to uh, be pleasant. And uh, people, when they visit Harpers Ferry, they'll notice the difference. And, and I don't think we thought about lighting before.